This morning, I woke up at 5 o'clock a.m. It's August 28, 2004, and I'm recording my diary, my journal. I am taking this trip to my maternal homeland, Nigeria, Africa. It all started July the 4th, 2003, after I learned of the African ancestry DNA. I knew that I had to take this test to reconnect myself to the maternal homeland of my grandmother, Josephine Richardson Harrell, and her mother, Emma Vonnie Richardson, and her mother, Rosa Ford. My mother, also Isabel Harrell, Cook. For 400 years, my maternal ancestors, as well as my paternal ancestors, was held as slaves in the New World called America. In the New World, they had everything stolen away from them. Their language, their history, their culture, artifacts, their very way of life, and their family was stolen away. They was forced into slavery, forced to learn all the ways of the oppressor, the slaveholders, the slave traders, and their family. Never to speak their native language, to practice their faith, to keep their identity, their culture, their history. Many died from broken hearts, missing the family members that was left behind, praying and hoping that they would one day be reconnected to them. Not to mention those that was left behind, the many thousands of thoughts that went through their heads every day missing their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers, their children, not knowing what would happen to them. On this very day, my soul is rejoicing with my ancestors. I know that they are rejoicing today because today the doors of no return has been unlocked through African ancestry DNA, giving me that one glimpse of hope that we can connect ourselves to a country, to a people, to our identity, that millions of African Americans in this country, not that we have lost our identity, but because we have had our identity stolen away from us. I hope one day to pass this diary down to my granddaughters and my grandsons so they would share that, pride, that prideful moment with me as I return back to the homeland of my maternal ancestors. I would say to all that would like to take the African ancestry DNA test, it is one of the most prideful gifts that you can give yourself, the gift of knowledge, to know that you are connected to a country. My reason for taking the African ancestry DNA on 4th of July was to liberate myself, to gain my freedom, knowledge of self. I can't celebrate the 4th of July like many other Americans in this country because I had my freedom taken away from me. The 4th of July did not mean freedom for me. It meant slavery for me. So this day is a very happy day in my history. And as I leave this diary to my grandchildren and to their grandchildren to share that moment, This man, he was born in his hand, and he's the one who educated them. Really? And he's the one who's in charge of that. The food. The man who was feeding him? Yes, this yes. is the man who is feeding them. Yango. Can I watch that? Yango. Are you going to? Oh, no. You see the emblem of. Oh, yeah. uh, you say there's a son here. Yeah, little son. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. you know. Now, can you see Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 So now, he's the one who excites her to come and eat. If not, she will not eat, she will not eat until night. Really? So now he tried to excite her to come out of water and eat. 
but now she's trying to go back to water because so because this is the time the, the time required for her to eat ah. but now because he, he stimulate her to come out and eat and he do it now it's just like a demonstration she listened well. of the assembly was was wearing European clothes. When his friend of Ghana told him, now Mr. President, you are a Muslim and you are from Niger Republic. You should wear your traditional clothes. This is this cloth was uh, automatically uh, okay what you say uh, wear with traditional clothes. Immediately it was made and brought to the president of the assembly, and he wore it since 1960. So it's not uh, modern tailors make it, it's by hand. It is by hand, not modern tailors. Doté d'un laboratoire pour la réfection bien établi et au début.